Hi guys, today I have for you the first color grading tutorial that many of you have been waiting for. Before I will jump into more in-depth tutorials, I thought it would be good to give you some tools, so you can already practice on your own. Firstly, I will briefly cover these two terms, because I know that not everyone understands these things. During color correction we adjust parameters such as white balance and exposure, so the overall image matches what our eyes see in real life. It also brings consistency across the entire project and corrects any technical problems with colors, like fixing skin tones so they look natural. Color grading is a creative process of adjusting color to a stylized tone and mood. It sets the final look and feel of your project. It's associated with the story you want to tell. I'll be honest with you, I don't like color correcting my images. It's boring for me. But it needs to be done first, before we start the more fun, creative process of color grading. Sometimes you guys ask me if doing color grading is necessary. And of course it depends on you. If you don't feel the need to add any specific look, then you can just bring your footage to Rec.709, do some basic color correction and it can be enough for you. Instead of showing you step by step how to achieve a certain look, I want to show you some methods of how to understand what you're doing in the first place. First thing you need to learn is how to read and analyze the images using scopes and how different tools affect them. You need to train your brain to understand it easily. I will show you some useful exercises that will help you achieve that. I work in DaVinci Resolve, but this will be just simple concepts that you can apply in any good software. I will also put some files for you to download in the description if you are not using Resolve. We'll start with Luminosity. In Resolve go to Effects and Generators. Put two 10-step clips on the timeline as well as two grayscale. Change all of them to compound clips. Now rotate one of the 10 step clips by 90 degrees and scale so it fits the window. And do the same with one grayscale clip. Now go to the color page and we can start playing. Let's start with the waveform. Make sure display qualifier focus is checked and choose qualifier here in tools. Because we got 10 levels of luma here, we will set a percentage on our waveform, so it's easier to read it when learning. Now you can see an exact representation of this image on a waveform. Just play with it to understand how different shades are represented on a waveform. Now it's time to try different tools to see what they are doing to our image. The easiest way to show it visually will be using curves. Pay attention to both the image and the waveform. Here is how gain works. Lift. And gamma. Just play with the images with different tools. Try them all with all four clips and analyze what they are doing. Ok, now we move on to the colors. Set your scopes to the vector scope and make sure you have skin tone indicator turned on. And move your color wheels to see how it affects the image. It's much easier to read what you are doing on these images rather than regular footage. It can help you learn how to make creative looks. You can clearly see what part of the image your grade affects, which is very helpful. For example, if you want to focus on part of the image where skin tones lay. 10 step can help you start and with a gray scale you can check if your grade is smooth. Next trick I use is when you set your look, you can analyze what specific colors you have in different parts of the image. Just make a new node, go to color curves and choose a specific part of the image to check what exact color is that. Thanks to that you are more aware of what you are doing and you can control your grade easier. You can also use this technique to analyze other stuff, like your favorite LUTs. For example, I use a great plugin called Dehancer, which emulates different film stacks. I can check what exact colors my favorite film stacks have, so I can learn from that. Now we need more colors, so let's create other clips. This time I'll put this color bar, and maybe this one too. Like before, change them to compound clips and go back to the color page. Move qualifier on the image to see how it shows on the vector scope. Go to hue curves and again play with these tools by analyzing both the image and the vector scope. There is much more to that but you already get the idea so you can try all the tools by yourself. I will give you one more bonus. Apply a false color effect to analyze the image better. YouTube is a great place to learn, 
and a lot of techniques that I learned are coming from YouTube, especially on how to use different tools in Resolve. But if it comes to both cinematography and color grading, I try to learn from the masters as much as I can. That's why I often analyze movies that have visuals I like. What I do is take screenshots from them, I try to read the scopes and compare them to my footage with similar scenarios. I analyze everything, the exposure, colors, where different parts of the image sit on waveform, etc. One trick to check specific color, for example skin tones, is to make a power window and look at the vector scope. I believe that taste and sense of beauty can be improved like everything else. That's why I would recommend everyone to watch and analyze a lot of great looking movies. You can even try to replicate the look of certain movies on your footage. It's a good exercise too. Last thing I have to mention is that color grading is just an icing on the cake in the final image. It can make your images look much better or fix some problems. But what is in front of the camera is always the most important. Lighting, composition, locations, production design, all these things are what makes 90% of the final image. I will also make some tutorials about cinematography on this channel in the future, so stay tuned for that. That's it for today, more color grading and cinematography tutorials coming soon. If you found this video useful, then make sure to like, subscribe and see you next time.